I kind of just deleted the intro by accident. So this is kind of half of the look because I started taking it off and then I realized that I deleted it by accident. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is the look that you are going to get with some add-ons at the end. So make sure you watch all the way through. So hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> Oh, and I also forgot. Hello, oh, 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 oh. Oops. So I'm going to start off by prepping my face. Sorry, I, <laughs> I stopped talking then because I didn't want it to go in my mouth. Just using the Too Faced 3 in 1 hangover, refreshing, refreshing. Replenishing Primer Setting Spray. Yes! Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to use my Makeup Forever HD Foundation um, in the colour, in the shade, shade Y315. And I'm going to use this today with a, a buffer brush because I want it to look like a doll's face as in like it's really smooth also yes today's my skin is not looking looking very good i've kind of got a circle of spots going on here i'm just going in with my tarte shape tape in the shade light and dolls are very smooth looking so i'm literally going to try and cover all these spots i have foundation So there we go, that is the beginning part of the look. I am not going to do contour because dolls aren't really contoured. So I'm just going to move straight on to the eyes and of course using my trusty Revolution Flawless 2 palette. Boom! Okay, so first of all I'm going to do my eyebrows. And with my eyebrows I'm not going to use my Anastasia Dip Brow just because I don't want them to be as harsh as what they should be so just in this palette I'm just going to find a brown that matches my eyebrow colour okay so that is the eyebrows done as I said don't want them to be very harsh oh god's sake this one's harsher than this one oh well life carries on so now using my this flat edge brush just here I'm going to use NYX eyeshadow base. Haven't used this brush yet, so this will be nice and interesting. Whoa. What I'm gonna do quickly is do one eye off camera so then I know what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna come back on and then I'll do it for you so then I'm not constantly going, um, I don't know what colour to use and all that. So I'll see you once one of my eyes are done. I don't know what eye I'm gonna do first. Okay, so first of all, I'm using this white eyeshadow, just the palest eyeshadow you have in your eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to be talking for every palette, just because I think more people can then follow along in that way. Okay, so now taking, don't know what brush I used, not going to lie. I'm with a light grey colour, and what you're going to do, is you're going to overline your eye from what it is you can't really see that because it's not really harsh like that in my favorite brush in the whole wide world the essential crease brush just gonna blend this and we are gonna do some kind of cut crease you just have to wait and then going in now with a darker grey using the essential crease brush just going to focus that on the outer bit first sorry I need to kind of move a bit forward using this concealer my Tarte Shape Tape I'm just going to dab some of my eyelid I got this technique from James excuse me James Charles who actually hearted one of my comments and I was like, oh my gosh. So now using my Kiko eyeliner, 
I'm going to try and copy the winged eyeliner from this side onto this side, which is probably not going to happen, but you know. They don't match, but they do at the same time. So I'm just going to, and I am dragging it all along the bottom of my eye. Oh yeah, I know what I forgot to do on this side. Then also to finish off that white because the white isn't as white as I want it. Using a white from my palette and just a little, little brush, kind of go over it. And then going back in with my eyeliner, we are going to go under, and I know this part is just not gonna look equal. This side's thicker, but I kind of like this side better. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it because I know if I try and fix it, it's just not going to work. Then I'm just gonna put my other lash on the other side. And if you can tell or can't tell, these lashes are part of my own brand. Yes, I am bringing out eyelashes. I'm joking. These are just from Primark. Now, if you think that you are good at makeup, do, do, do bottom lashes, just draw them on. But I tried it off camera and I can tell you I am not good at makeup enough to do bottom lashes. Okay, so now taking my hair down, I am going to try these LED lashes. Oh my God, from far away, these eyes look so good. Okay, so, LED lashes, I actually don't know, I watched Manny MUA's and Nikita Dragon do this, so yeah. Okay, so this is the finished look. With the LED lashes, I'm going to shut my curtains so you can see. That is so cool. And to be honest, they don't even look that bad. But the only thing I would say is these wires. And I know trying to make these without wires must be so difficult. So this is the finished look. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you soon in my next video. Thank you for watching.